Hi. This is Noah. Today is January 14th. So, and uh, today is Sunday. Um, and so this morning I went to church. Then I came back and Chris came over for about an hour. Um, and then pretty much the rest of the time I've been playing Civ. Because again, as I mentioned in my previous vlog, I decided I'm not going to do anything this weekend. <laughs> um, speaking of my previous vlog, um, watching it back, that was a little bit depressing. And also, the way I recorded it, uh, especially like the tone of voice I used throughout the video, was a little bit cringy. Um, I agree, still agree with everything I said in the video, but uh, the way I delivered it was a little off. But I'm still going to upload it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to upload it until um, probably tonight because um, my dad's internet is so slow that it would take hours to upload even a few minutes long video. So I will be uploading that one and this one tonight. Um, so while I was playing Civ, I was reading one of my books. Oh yeah, I showed you the books I was reading. And actually it's right here. Uh, Stradivari's Genius. And it was so incredibly boring that I gave up. So, I didn't really have much else to do because you know, I was playing Civ, but um, in the game of Civ, especially with my slow computer, you have to wait, wait a long time for the turns to process for the for the AI. So, uh, while I wait for that, I read a book, but I didn't have any books to read, so I was getting really bored, and I was looking for something else to do, and. Then I came across uh, one of my dad's old journals, and that was pretty interesting. <laughs> um, so I've been reading through that. Um, I did ask him uh, earlier today if it was alright if I kept reading it, and he said he was fine with it. So, um, and reading through that was pretty. Um, I don't know, enlightening? <laughs> what would you call it? Revealing? Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there I didn't, I didn't know about until I read it. Um, and it kind of uh, made me see my dad in a different light. Um, like now I don't, I kind of look at my dad a little bit differently now after I read that. Um, and it's, it's actually not in a negative way. Like you would think reading someone's like deep, dark secrets, you might find things that you never knew about someone and, and they would be actual, actually bad things. But, um, in this case, it wasn't really that way. It was... Like, I, I now can see a little bit more into his, um, like, his direction, and, um, like, in life, and, uh, the way he thinks, um, and how he approaches situations in life, and, well, like, a few things I learned about him that were positive that is that I knew this already but this was outlined in more detail in his journal oh by the way dad if you're watching this I'm not going to reveal anything I'm not going to tell the whole world your your uh, whole life that you wrote out in your journal I'm just I'm just going to highlight a few things uh, that influenced me 
Um, so one one thing was uh, that he um, he reads the Bible daily, um, and he prays often, and like God is, seems to be a pretty big part in my dad's life, and uh, it seems like my dad kind of lives his life according to uh, God's will, like, or at least my dad tries to do that. Um, and with most of the things he talks about in his journal, it seems that in all of it he's trying to give God the glory, I guess. Um, so that's one thing that about it that I don't know if I want to say anything else about it. Uh, let me think. Again, I, I will not. <laughs> I will, I'm not going to share too much about about it because that's his private journal after all. But. I guess that's about it, but I think um, that kind of inspires me to, first of all, like journal writing. Um, I am writing in my journal, but, and I did actually include in my daily list to write in my journal, but recently I haven't really been following that. But actually, it's really interesting to go back and read someone's journal. Not only your own journal, but also someone else's, especially like in the case of when I read my dad's journal. So maybe um, I'll write in my journal a little bit more often. Uh, and another thing is uh, the way my dad, he seems to be a pretty devout Christian, which gives him direction in life and purpose, whereas, although I was raised in a Christian home, um, uh, this may be surprising to, if people who know me are watching this, but recently I've started, actually not recently, pretty much my whole life, most of my life, or Maybe not most of my life. Maybe when I was a little kid, I um, thought Christianity was... I just kind of blindly followed my parents uh, in Christianity. But once I reached um, a certain age, probably around when I was... Yeah, like maybe when I started middle school... We actually call it junior high at my school, but that's not the point. Um, I started to question Christianity, and um, over time, my um, my Christian foundation kind of started to fade away, and now I'm at this point. I'm basically not living as a Christian because I just had I just really do not know if Christianity is true. Like it seems like science has disproven any religion, including Christianity. Um, but yeah, so if people are watching this who know me especially people from my old school and they might be surprised and maybe a little shocked and disappointed in me in that in hearing that but I'm not completely close to it if someone gives me enough evidence 
or if I find enough evidence to support Christianity myself, then I might come back to it. But at this point, I'm just not, I just not, have not uh, come to that. Um, But anyway, that's kind of, but, um, oh yeah, I kind of got distracted. I was just explaining that how I'm not a Christian, whereas my dad is a Christian, and he has, and because of that, he has direction and purpose in his life, whereas I don't, because I'm not a Christian, and I could make my own purpose, such as being a good person or becoming successful, but I've tried that before, or at least I've I've tried to like take control of my life and and, and uh, try to succeed at my goals, but that's just never worked out. I just don't have the motivation. So basically, right now, I just I'm just not I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing, and that's not a good way to live life. But anyway, my dad's uh, journal pen. It motivates me to, um, like, find some kind of purpose, whether it be Christianity or, if that's not true, then something else. Um, that's about all I have to say today, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.